everybody makers, it's Lila with LP Novelties and I want to film a really fun video today for all my newbies that are in the happy planning community as well as those that have been planning for a while now. I really love using colorful boxes, the journaling stickers especially, to create really fun stickers and I thought why not show you some really fun simple ways to decorate these boxes and have them ready for you when you want to add them into your planner. Um, this is a really easy way for those of you that want to maybe work, practice doodling and just having fun with the stickers and not just see them for what they are just a simple box. You can actually really get really creative with them and make them fun and work for your spread. Um, I really do love colorful boxes. They're one of my favorite stickers as well as journaling. This is honestly um, one of my favorite. I have 14 of these sticker books, I know. But I love the journaling stickers because um, they are blank shapes and you can use markers to draw whatever you want on them and it doesn't bleed through into your planner. So that's why I love them. But I have two types of mediums here. I have my art markers that are alcohol based and I love using these. And I also have some Crayola Super Tips here. And I'm going to use both options to show you guys that you can honestly make these colorful boxes work for you. And I have several sticker books here from the Happy Planner that have boxes that you can use. <clears throat> I have the most recent one, which is a colorful boxes monthly layout. And this has some really great options and it has the box with the monthly layout um, option which is cut in an angle so I'll show you what that looks like and these are really great to put in your calendar and it has this angle cut out so I love that then of course there's the original the OG colorful box great options there and then this one was colorful boxes number two this has more colored options, but I'm going to show you a fun way to decorate these that don't have to require using markers, um, but you can have them kind of prepped and ready for you to go. So I'll show you that as well. Um, this is colorful boxes number three that came out. This came out in March, and this is more like a pastel um, fun take on the colorful boxes. And then also um, I have the Planner Babe uh, Ballet Pad Sticker Book, because I'm going to be using these quotes here to show you how to decorate um this colorful box sticker book so let's get to it and show you how easy it is to use these boxes and um, a really fun way to have them prepped and ready for you to go on the sheet already doodled and all you have to do is pull it off and decorate let's your start spread. out first with the journaling sticker book because it's my favorite and i'm gonna put these aside and all you're gonna need um basically is markers um i have alcohol based ones because i love these ones and then there's also like i mentioned the Crayola super tips so i'll show you both options um, I want you guys to be able to make this easy for you guys. It's really easy to find some Crayola markers. And I have a ruler. And I'll show you why I want I have a ruler. So if you purchase one of these journaling um, sticker books, I still think they have these available. Um, last time I got them, I got some of them on sale on Michaels. But any colorful box that you can find that is blank, that's paper material. Make sure it's paper because if it's clear, you will not be able to marker on it. But this is all paper stickers. That's why I love them. But just an example is these little bookmark tags. You can color all of these in. So I'm just going to use my Crayola Super Tip. And you can do an option of just outlining it like this. And then you can just have it ready. And what I'm, when I mean ready is like if you go and have one day that you dedicate to maybe like 10 minutes just to prep these and have them colored in. And then whenever you need a certain color that you can make a row of pink ones, right? And have those ready to go because sometimes you're looking for a certain like little tag or something and you just can't find your color that you want if you have these ready that saves you time and all you have to do is just kind of prep them and have them ready to go um, in your little booklet and then I'll just color this in for you guys just to show you what I mean but if you have these ready then all you have to do is pull these out and have um, that color match your spread because I know how we're very particular of our spreads, you know, color coordinating at least somewhat. Um, they don't have to be super decorative, but even if it's a functional spread, sometimes you just want your stickers to at least have the same color scheme or um, coordinate somehow. So you can leave it like this and then like, uh, say you're doing a spread with green. I'm like, oh, okay, I could just pull this out and you have a green little tag for your stickers. I mean, excuse me, your spread. And then these will be there ready to go. Um, another option you can do like I said, you can outline it or you can actually fill it in. 
Now, a great thing about the this sticker book that I love is um, if you can't find, there's um, sticker books that do have some of these colored in, but there's probably, really, I think there's just about this portion available in some of the sheets. This has a lot of options, and you can actually make this work for you um, if you have a schedule that you need to follow and you need to designate um, a color to, maybe if you're doing for your kids' schedules, and um, you could assign a color to each child, depending on how many kids you have. So that's one option, is just maybe assigning a color to your child, um, depending on what's going on that day. If you need to um, take them to soccer practice, or maybe make lunch for them, or whatever's going on. Or even if it's at work, um, if it's something that's important, a top priority, maybe you can make blue the top priority. And green can be just something that you need to get done, but it's not something you need to get done that day, or that week but just a reminder so it's really good to color coordinate your task um, I like to color coordinate tasks sometimes when I have um, things going on in regards to LV novelties knowing like okay my yellow means I need to get this done like this week and blue is more like okay it's it could get done this week but if not it could be carried over to next week so that's what I mean in regards to color coordinating so these are really great just to have them ready and what I love about these is let me just get my pen so I like using the sharpie pen um, fine tip and this was recommended by one of my squad sisters Addie. I love this pen. It's so awesome. It's a fine tip um, What I love about having these colored in is once you pull it out So for example, say you pull this on you put it in your spread and you need to put appointment at 8 a.m. You could write on these so that's a really great thing too is maybe you assign blue tags for your appointments and All you gotta do is pull this out and it's ready to go so that's a great way to use um, these journaling sticker books. And then, like I said, if you have time, like 10 minutes, and you color these all in certain colors and you have it all ready for you, that is a time saver because you don't have to sit there and pull out the markers when you're actually doing your spread and um, think about, okay, what color is this? Like if you already have a system and you lay everything out, all you have to do is pull this book out, pull out the sticker you need, and pop it in your spread and it'll be functional and super easy. So I'm just trying to give you tips where it makes you save time and it makes it easy to plan. Because I know sometimes when we have so many sticker books, and I love sticker books, but when you do have a lot of sticker books, it, it tends to get a little overwhelming in which to use. But if you can at least designate one sticker book, and that's what I love about the colorful boxes. If you could just designate your colorful boxes to a color coordinated system and maybe even just do some simple doodles on it. It really will help you save time and make um, planning fun. And then you can always go in and add the decorative elements like the fun cute stickers. You can add those at the end. Um, but in regards to functionality, I really think these are fun. But now let me show you some other things you can do with these. Next step I'm gonna show you is I love colorful boxes and they're really awesome and they come in different sizes and options of color. But sometimes I just can't find the right color that I need. A great way to um, make your own DIY colorful boxes, again, I'm still in the journaling sticker book, but if you have any square um, or colorful box paper sticker from the Happy Planner that's just blank, you can make it your own. So I have this color right here that's kind of like a teal turquoise color, and this one is aqua, and it's an art marker. So I'm going to show you what an art marker looks like and then a super tip. So then all I'm going to do is use my ruler to outline just the outside of the box. And that way I make my own DIY colorful box. Sometimes you might run out of a colorful box and you still need that color or you just can't find the right color. So you can make it yourself. That's what I love about these paper stickers as well. They allow you to do um, your own style. So there's two options, uh, two different colors, and um, let me just show you what they look like. So there, that's your colorful box, your DIY colorful box. All right, so I have the colorful boxes with the alcohol marker here, and now I'm gonna show you the super tip. It's really easy to do the super tip one without having to use a ruler because it has an angle. Let's do that. So the marker has an angle, the super tip colors. So all I do is lay it flat, and then just angle it and outline the box. And there you go, you have your own colorful boxes using super tips and the journaling sticker. And then now this one is a quote sticker that I just created for myself. And when I mean quote stickers, um, this is the happy quotes sticker book. 
So I'm talking about like sometimes how you see these ones are like they're decorative quote stickers. They're actual quote box stickers. I love these. But I find that sometimes, like, um, for example, these quotes by themselves that are unclear, they're really great, and I just lay them on my spread. But I, sometimes I just want to make, like, a really cute quote box. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to have some already pre-made for yourself. So I'm going to use the Super Tips for this. And all you have to do is color in your box. And you can do this in the colorful boxes as well because colorful boxes are paper stickers. So you just do that. And then we could do this so much happy on here. And then you'll have that ready to go. So whenever you choose to use this sticker, all you have to do is peel it off and add it onto your spread. So let's do one more so you can see how awesome it is to actually just have some paper stickers that are blank and have fun with it. So all I'm doing is coloring it with a super tip in an angle. I think I want to add, let's see, maybe this today one, but in the pink. Let's see if this fits in there. Yep. So that's really cool. So then I have these all set and ready so you can make your own DIY stickers basically. And that's what I love about the journaling sticker book is like you can honestly make your own stickers using the Happy Planner and some markers. So now I have these three quote stickers ready to go whenever I need to use them. And then I have some colorful boxes ready to go. And what I love about the, um, the uh, DIY one is you can use the foil and color it in the backdrop to make the foil pop a little bit more. So that's basically the journaling sticker book. They have additional items in here that I love that you can color in. But I just wanted to show you some simple ways to do colorful boxes and some quote sticker books. I mean, excuse me, quote stickers. So now I'm gonna bring out the colorful boxes and show you how easy it is to doodle it and kind of make it decorative. Okay, so now I have the original colorful box sticker book. Um, you'll see it says 594 and it has this light blue stripe. And I'm just going to show you a sheet right here that I'm going to work off of. So I'm going to decorate these and that way I have them ready to go. So when I want to use them for a spread, I can. One example I just did right now is just use some of my Crayola Super Tips and the ruler and just made some stripes to make it kind of look like rainbow. So that way when you pull it out, if you're doing like a rainbow theme, you can have a little rainbow um, detail on your colorful box. So that's one option. Make sure I put that back properly so I can save that for later. Um, for example, this one, like if you're doing, let's say a sky theme, what's really cute would be to kind of make it look like the clouds in the corner. You could do the same here. And then you leave the white part blank because then you can fill this in and I'll show you an example. But to make this really fun, um, you just go in with the dark blue to outline this. And if you want it to make it like night sky, you could just add some stars on here. Really simple doodle. And then maybe you could write down If it's for your kiddos, you can write down nighttime routine. So see how easy it was just to come up with something um, really simple like that? And it's just using your colorful boxes and there's plenty of these in all the sticker books. Like the Rainbow Mega Book has some really great options for this. So let me just bring that up close. And then you have your little nighttime routine for your kiddos or whatever you wanna do, you can doodle in the corners. Um, what I want to show you also is um, you can use the colorful boxes and decorate them and have them pre-decorated like for you to use. So I love um, Planner Babe and I love these boxes with the, the planner disc all around it as a trim. But there's only about, I think, two sheets of them. Or there's these two. Is there more? Or is that it? I think that's pretty much all for now. But there's planner disc. So what you can do with your boxes and have them ready to go for you is just pull out your tweezers and then decorate your corners of your colorful boxes and then have them ready to go for you like that and then that's easy too so it's really easy to have fun with your 
your colorful boxes and have them ready to go. So it's just um, having some stickers laid out on them and have them, you know, for you to actually get stuff done. And what I love about these um, stickers in the planner, babe, is they have these ones that say run all the errands. So you can just take one of these out and then just have it on the corner of your colorful box. And then you can just have a row of these as well that just say run all the errands. So when it's time for you to plan, you can pull this colorful box out and then it has that sticker and you're ready to go. So try to pre-plan as much as you can in regards to your colorful boxes if this is something that interests you and you want to uh, be as much as you can um, somewhat prepared for planning and not have to be stressed out about a day of planning. But I want to bring out this box because there's some green ones in here and I want to show you something really fun to use, especially for the holidays, how to make it really fun. Okay, so now we're in the colorful boxes monthly layout, the one that just got released. And again, I'm just using my super tip and this is a green color. And I'm going to go on this green one and just start to do a little bit of doodling. So it's really simple. You just draw your line out and do little twigs. So I'm going to make them super easy doodles so you guys can follow along and do it yourself. It doesn't have to be super artistic. But see how easy it is to create a really fun monthly layout um, doodle. So that's supposed to be like a holly branch. And now I just want some red to add on here. So just a couple polka dots in there. And you got yourself a holiday themed monthly layout. So I'll bring that up close. And it was super now easy. Now for these blue ones, these would be perfect for like snowflakes. So I can use a light blue. And then for snowflakes, they have a plus sign and then it goes this way and that way. And you could just draw little polka dots at the ends of them. All right. And then you have your little um, snowflake one. So that's your snowflakes. Now, another really cool one to do is icicles. Um, so just get creative with it. Like it's it's just honestly to, to be fun. So icicles go down like that, angle. You just carry it throughout the end and there's your icicles now if you really wanted to have fun you can draw a little snowman in the corner which i will do because you know i love to draw and i'm going to show you how simple it is so all you have to do is do your little circle on the top a little bit bigger circle on the bottom and then a real big circle right there and this is all just using my super tip markers and then all you have to do is do a little top hat make it super easy for you guys and then your buttons little pipe and then his carrot nose the orange and then got the eyes got the eyes all right and then branches for his arms now I'm going to show you how easy it is to fill this out so again you'll bring out your um, sharpie pen or whichever pen you use. And I'm just gonna write snow day at Flagstaff. Cause here in Arizona, Flagstaff um, has snow. So it's perfect. Isn't that so cool? So bring this up close, so you can see that. And there is snow day in Flagstaff. Now we're gonna work in a side colorful boxes number two. So this one came out um, I believe it was at the end of last year or beginning of this year. And this one has really bright, colorful boxes and they're filled in with color. So I'm going to show you how you can actually use these in a fun way. So I'm going to bring out my Planner Babe Mini and they have these coats here in the back that I love. So we're going to start pulling some of these out and let me just get my tweezers out. So this one says dream big. So you can just do that. And we're just gonna do the border around it. And so this is so much fun today. And it's just another fun way to decorate your box. So 
I'm just going to try to center that along here. And I'm just going to trim off the excess. And there's that one. Really easy to do that and use these um, quote box. So I'm bring that up close. So there's this one and I just did the quotes around it and then it still has a lines for you to fill in. So this is a really great positive quote for you. So these are great if you're doing your wellness planner, um, your faith planner, your motivational planner, anything that is in regards to trying to keep you motivated. I love these quotes and that's a really great way to, you know, decorate it and you can see this and be like, okay, I got this. So I love colorful boxes for this. Um, but let's get into colorful boxes number three now, and I'm going to show you some other fun ways to so decorate. We are inside this. colorful box number three. This was the one that came out in March, and they have some of these boxes where they're separated into three sections. So I'm going to show you how to actually um, decorate these. And inside this actual sticker book, they have some really great um, lists here. They have Monday through Sunday. So what you can do is I can use this to kind of organize my um, sense lunch schedule and have this ready for me to go along with it. So I'll show you real quick how to do one. So if you have this already set for you, you just, all you have to do is go in here, use the stickers that are inside the sticker book and then set this up for you and have the sticker ready for you just to pull out for your spread. So that's one option right there. And then you can write in what lunch you need to um, make for him or if he doesn't have no lunch you'll eat at school and you put no lunch so that's a great way for me to keep organized so now that I've listed out the days and I'm just showing you this is an example for me but you can use this however you want I'm just using the Monday through Friday schedule and I'm just showing you how easy it is to use colorful boxes to really make them work for you so right now I have the meal planning um, accessory pack and this has some really cute stickers in the back with like little um, food icons but they're tiny so these are perfect for the colorful boxes because they'll fit in there. So I'm just going to pull a couple of them out so I know this is referring to um, lunch items, lunch menu. So I'm just going to decorate my colorful box and have it ready for me when it's time for me to pull it out and decorate, or excuse me, fill it out for what I'm, I'm doing for Chance for his lunch. And let's just do a little pizza. Like that. Okay, so now this is here, and then I can just put the book away, and when I'm ready, I'm like, oh, I need to work on his lunch. All I have to do is, again, pull this out, and it's ready for me to go and just to fill out. So try to pre-plan somewhat, and when I mean pre-plan, this is pre-planning for me, is preparing all the items that I need to sit down and actually fill out my planner and plan where it's easy for me. I love to sit and just play with the stickers, and it's really fun, but sometimes we don't have that much time in the day. We just got a few minutes to sit there and plan. If we can at least somewhat set up a system where we know, okay, I need to fill out this every week, my Monday through Friday, his lunch schedule, and have these two colorful boxes for me to go. Like this is an awesome, you know, a way to put into my vertical box because I use vertical box layout for um, my everyday planning. I could just pull this out and lay them out down and I know, okay, these are the days I need to um, make lunch for chance. So this is another great way to use your colorful box, especially this one that's already separated into three sections and it fits a vertical box. So I love trying to use these stickers and the boxes and markers to really make it fun. Okay, bye makers, hopefully you enjoyed this video and learning how to use your colorful boxes in a fun way. I just wanted to share some fun tips with you guys, things that I like to do when I'm planning and um, I think it's really great to pre-plan as much as you can if you don't have time to be you know, sitting down and playing with the stickers because everybody loves to play with stickers, but sometimes we just don't have that much time. If you can have, you know, 10 minutes to like just get some stickers set up for the next few weeks with the same concept, um, and I could just do, do the same concept for these two, um, additional stickers, and then that way that's three weeks worth of lunch schedules. And when it's time for me to come plan, I just have to pull these stickers out. It really does save time, and it's really less stressful because all you have to do is pull this out, and it's ready for you. So if you can pre-plan in that um, aspect, that is really good. And then also don't get um, discouraged feeling like, oh, I can't find the right sticker or something's not working or it's not going with my theme. You can always make colorful boxes work for you with just some doodles. Um, I love this one with the little sky and stars and nighttime routine. Even adding some simple little tiny sticker icons on it dresses it up. And then you can even pre-plan here by adding this sticker that says run all the errands or anything that says to 
to do or buy and just already having them set up on your colorful box ready for you to go and then you just have to peel it off instead of you having to find the sticker book that has this sticker icon and then get this one out if they're already pre-made and ready for you it saves so much time um, also motivational stickers are really great so these quotes that are like thin and work well for a border are really great for motivation and to keep you um, positive I love that and this one um, I'm in love with. I can't wait to use this inside my monthly calendar. How fun is that? I just drew Frosty and some Icicle Snow Day at Flagstaff. And even the little detail of the holly branches are so fun. So you guys can honestly make this. It was super easy. You saw how fun it was just to draw out a, a branch stick, then do the little branches and just some polka dots and you got yourself some holly berry. So don't get discouraged thinking that you don't know how to draw it. Sometimes just do your simple doodle, make it your way, what makes you happy and smile. And um, you can use Royal Super Tips, um, alcohol markers, whatever works for you. That is awesome. And then my favorite, of course, journaling sticker book here. Color coordinate stuff. Make it work for you. Pre-plan it. Get these all colored in so it's easy for you to just um, plan out as much as you can when you sit down to actually plan. So have your stickers Organize in a certain way that it's functional for you. And then it's also fun to maybe if you have some free time, make your own little sticker quotes. Um, use some of the clear stickers and then color in these boxes. And then you make yourself a cute little um, color sticker box for yourself. Isn't that cute? So that's a really fun way to create some stickers. And then um, if you can't find the color box, colorful box that you need to coordinate with your actual spread, just pull out the mark marker color that you need color and outline the actual paper box and then you have boxes that work for your spread so make these stickers work for you just because they're a simple white box with somewhat detailing doesn't mean you can't make them special i love the colorful boxes i think they're some of the best stickers um, from the happy planner because they allow me to be creative and um, i have fun with it and that's all that it you know planning is supposed to be is to have fun and relax and enjoy your time planning and um, make it functional and easy for yourself. But if you have time to decorate, then have fun decorating. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure to um, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I load up a new video. And as always, peace and love.